I'll compete with you for if that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> uh, there's my twelve. So it's got the rail on there. It's got a red dot, and it's got a twenty-inch barrel. Now it did have a uh, an extended turkey extra full choke on. Really? Uh, I removed it because uh, I'm gonna shoot a slug through it, and it would probably kill the barrel if I did that's that fair. with a slug. Um, some cool things about it, just the, the portability of it is so good. It, like it packs way, way down and uh, really like that. Um, something I didn't realize when I bought it is, uh, let me get some extra light on the situation. This rail, it's plastic. Oh, that's why really? it's cheap. Bad. Yeah. It's not going to hold One anything. One piece of plastic makes the whole entire gun cheap. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Rails should, okay. A plastic rail on a twenty two. Eh, yeah, you know, okay, okay, fine. On a on a turkey gun, you gotta be kidding me! Come on, and it looks like it's Picatinny rail. It's not Picatinny rail. It won't fit. Like I have a, a primary arms one uh, X scope, and it only fits on Picatinny rails, and it does not fit on this rail because this is not to spec. So, uh, so I had to put a red dot on there. I hope the rail holds zero, and I guess I'll find out if it holds zero. Uh, mm -hmm. But. Uh, Otherwise, for eight hundred and fifty dollars, sure, why not? It's uh, I think that's good for the twenty for the twelve. This is the cutest one. This is the four ten. It's oh, tiny. It's, it's got a fourteen inch barrel. Boop. Nice. It practically <laughs> fits on screen, <laughs> and uh, it's got like a little bit of a gutter on the back of the receiver, and then a bead up front. So. You just sight down into the gutter, and uh, and that is your sighting solution. So no rib or anything like that, just gutter and bead and uh, 410. I would say that the triggers are surprisingly not garbage. Um, I was expecting just like pure hot garbage for them, but uh, they are, uh, there's no creep. There's no creep yeah. on them at all. Nothing? No. So that was pretty all right. The cheapest shotguns they had were the 20 gauges. And that's for a reason, because the barrel is huge on them. These use a 26 inch, 26 inch barrel, I'm pretty sure. And it is not nearly as portable as the other ones. So I think that like this kind of thing is ideal for a 20 inch, which goes right about there. This is uh, a bit long, but mm -hmm. uh, lightweight and also pretty okay trigger. I'm just noticing something. Do they have the uh, molded? cheek pad on both sides of that stock yes they do oh yep. nice they do that's a good thought pad on both sides yep so it's a full ambi i guess you'd if you if, if you're a lefty though you'd have to press the uh safety in the wrong direction but as a lefty you're probably used to uh you know making making doing everything for, wrong for a world that's not made for <laughs> you that's uh just all part of it uh, I got a bunch of, uh, oh, uh, the 12 gauge. If any of you have any of the other Turk shit uh, shotguns, uh, as they're uh, lovingly called. Turk shit? Uh, yeah, Turk shit, yeah. It's uh, hyphenated, all... correct? <laughs> uh, yes, I believe it is like okay. a marriage of two things. So it should be hyphenated, yeah. Um, they, all, they all take the same chokes. So I have some chokes from my Partis shotgun. And uh, they fit just fine in this cool. uh, in this 12 gauge so i was able to take out the gigantic uh turkey choke and put in something that's going to be able to run slugs so if you are so curious you're curious